بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم I'm Miss Samia today inshallah we're gonna discuss a new lesson from Mega Goal 1 this we began our lesson today open your people's book on that page 70 and 71 we have a new grammar underline of unit 5 did you hurt yourself so today inshallah we will discuss a new grammar is talking about three things or we have three elements under that grammar let's we begin on left side of that page on page 70 okay we have a grammar the title of it is reflexive pronouns reflexive pronouns what do you think the meaning of reflexive pronoun if i tell you for example that ex, uh, for example that one he likes to look to look at himself in the mirror he likes to look at himself in the mirror so he is what a subject and the reflexive pronoun which related to the subject is reflexive pronoun so re reflexive pronouns means something belongs to the subject or pronoun belong to the subject okay i think this is the easy easiest uh, explanation for the reflexive pronoun okay use the use the reflexive pronoun when the subject and object are the same person so when the subject and object at the same person we can use a reflexive pronoun we have some of the re reflexive pronouns myself yourself himself herself itself for unknown human beings ourselves yourself and themselves under that we have note you can also use the relexi re re reflexive pronoun to say that you did something without anyone else without anyone's help i fixed the hair dryer myself so when you fixing so, or when you doing something without any help without uh, needing for any help you can use reflexive pronouns okay let we mention an example for example uh, she cooking a cake by herself so whom is preparing the cake she are using herself with she so the re re reflexive pronoun with she is herself the prolex uh, reflexive pronoun with he is himself and myself for mine yourself for the other person itself for anything uh, not human beings ourself for groups uh, are you send uh, that one okay let we go to the next one it's talking about uh, because versus so what do you think the meaning for because and so or in which time i should use because or why i using because what's the purpose for using it if you have a question began with why asking you you to give a reason for that you began your answer by because it means given a reason given the good answer for that question let we check that the subordinate conjunction because introduces a reason it tells why so anyone asking you any question began by why you should give a good and suitable answer for it begin your answer by because the conjunction so introduces a sequences or a result so the purpose for using because is a sequences or result most accidents that one is an example happen because people don't pay an attention because people don't pay an attention he didn't turn off the electricity so he got a shock so that one is for uh, sequences and because for a result that's the difference between because and so did you understand the meaning for because and so yes so we will go to the last point for our lesson today so and neither 
The first one is talking about reflexive pronoun and we uh, already discussed what's the meaning of it and uh, how can we use it and or in which time we can use it. The next step is talking about between because and so and in which time or the suitable purpose for using so and because. Now I want to using so and neither or what's the difference between so and neither. Let me check. So and neither both show both. Both it means all two. Both show agreement with the speaker. So if you have an agreement, you can use so or neither, but in a difficult situation. So so shows agreement with affirmative. Pay attention for that. Affirmative statement. If you affirmative, it means you agree that you should use so. That means you are agree with that sentence. Neither shows agreement with a negative with a negative statement. If your sentence or statement is a negative, you should using neither, not so. That's the difference between so and neither. We have a dialogue here between two uh, person, one A and one B. Let we hearing what they have, or let we discuss what they have here. A, I'm a careful driver. B, so am I, because A has Affirmative statement be answer so. A. I hurt myself all the time. B. So do I. Because the statement here is affirmative, the, the, the second person are using so. The third one. I burned myself on the stove. So I did I. So did I. When the affirmative, uh, when the statement is affirmative, he using so. Four, I have been in one car accident in my life. That means that he agree and he give an information that he have an accident one time in his life. So be answering or re be, uh, replay his answer by, so have I, okay. And the next one is talking about neither or the sentence belong to neither. A, I'm not an aggressive driver, I'm not. So they negative statement, they, be, they given a negative statement. B, neither am I, neither am I. Two, I'm very seldom cut myself, I'm very seldom cut myself. B, neither do I, neither do I. And three, I didn't sleep, uh, sorry, I didn't sleep on the wet floor. I didn't sleep on the wet floor. B, neither did I, ne neither did I. The last one is, uh, I have never broken an arm or leg. I have never, never, it's the same meaning for not. Never broken an arm or leg. Neither have I, neither have I. This is the last section for our lesson on the left side of page. Let we go to the next page. We have uh, uh, an exercises to make sure that you can you understand what we talking before about the grammar on the previous page. Complete the sentence with the correct reflexive pronoun. We have myself, itself, yourself, ourself, himself, yourselves and herself and themselves. And we have six sentences here. Sarah cut face while she was peeling potatoes. Number two, the instructions on the box say, do it and face. Three, I burn it face when I was making fries. Four, my grandfather slept on the rug and hurt face. Five, the people injured face when they were escaping from the boat. And six, we were interviewed, uh, interviewed for a TV show and last night we saw face on a channel nine. Okay, if you want to look for number one. So what do you think the suitable answer for it? Sarah. Sarah is equal to she. She is a girl. So what do you think the suitable answer for it? Hmm. So the suitable uh, answer for it is herself.
herself is herself let me check the answer here so number one is herself it goes with Sarah okay because she is a girl she with herself the instruction on the box say do it yourself do it he calling what calling you so you it comes with reflexive pronoun yourself number three I burned myself when I was making fries who is talking here who's the subject I so I becomes with myself what is myself here that one is suitable for it and where is yourself that one it comes with you let me check for my grandfather slept on the rug slept and hurt himself my grandfather my grandfather is a man it's equal to he so I talking about another person okay my grandfather is equal with himself okay so my grandfather equal with he a man so we using himself with it with a man five the people injured themselves why are using themselves because people here e are plural plural so if the subject here plural we using themselves the reflexive pronoun with it where is the uh, themselves that one good the last one is uh, we were interviewed for uh, a TV show and last night we s we saw ourselves it's also here plural and the subject here is we it's plural so the suitable reflexive pronoun with we is ourselves our not them because already I'm talking about one of the group that's mine one of the group that's mine so we it comes with ourselves okay good job let we transfer to the next uh, next step or next point for our lesson today okay okay join the sentence with so and because Jack burned his arm he went to the emergency room Jack burned his arm so he went to the emergency room that's an example and they want you to make it one time by so and one time by because so under all that uh, sentence or statement you should make two times one using so uh, consequences and one with uh, because let we take one and five as an example okay so if I want to talk number one the floor was wet Ahmed slept slept and feel and fell the floor was wet so so we can write one with so and one so Ahmed slipped and fell if you want to using so you should remove the full stop and put comma between two sentence before so so the floor was wet comma so Ahmed slipped and fell this is by so number two Ahmed slipped and feel because the floor was wet Ahmed slipped and fell because the floor was wet if you you want to using because you should remove the comma and remove the full stop and make it one sentence put the statements at the beginning and the reason after because okay Ahmed slipped and fell because the floor was wet that is the the answer for one let we make number six I got my hands all blue full stop I didn't read the wet paint sign so what's the answer with so and because I didn't read the wet uh, paint sign comma so I got my hands uh, all blue that they are changing the uh, 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 statements and put the second one at the beginning number two I got my hands all blue because if you notice here no comma and no full stop beco before because 
because I didn't read the web pane si sign. So this is our lesson today. It's talking about three things, reflective pronoun, so and neither, and the last one, so and because. Okay? Thank you for sharing, and thank you for joining to our classes.